An ultrasonic cleaning system creates cavitation. Cavitation is invisible to the naked eye. You can't see it in the ultrasonic tank. Uh, you can feel it, but you certainly can't see it. Uh, this is a picture of one imploding bubble taken at an instant in time, and the bubble's actually collapsing itself. And this is where all the energy is inside the, inside the bubble. And that's actually what scrubs the part. Uh, there's billions of these occurring at any given instant in time in the ultrasonic tank. So again, we can't, we can't see it in the bath per se. Um, and how do we create cavitation? Well, we, we vibrate the bottom of the tank <clears throat> at an ultrasonic frequency. So again, we, we run these transducers at 30 kilohertz, causes this, the bottom of the tank to vibrate at 30,000 cycles a second. And that creates pressure waves inside the tank bath can't see those pressure waves, but we can certainly show how it occurs. This is a, a, just a glass jar with glass uh, beads that's, that are resting on the bottom of the tank. When I turn the ultrasonic tank on, but again, that's just the pressure waves. That's not cavitation. So we can show cavitation if I take these ceramic rings and I coat them with just graphite pencil lead. You can see that if I put this in the, in the tank without the ultrasonics on and I agitate that back and forth, graphite doesn't come off. If I turn the ultrasonics on, the great thing about cavitation is how intricately it can clean. Now we showed that the graphite just blasted off that ceramic surface, no problem. Um, but if I take these two flat ceramic discs and I put them together, and I hold them in the ultrasonic tank. So in order for all this to happen, it's not just simply uh, create an ultrasonic tank, turn it on, and have it, have it, have it go. Uh, we've got to have the right amount of ultrasonic power in the tank. We've got to have the right detergent chemistry and the right temperature. And all those are critical factors in ultimately creating cavitation.